I'm going to show you how you can mix your vocals in Cubase with default plugins right after the intro. Yo, the name is Gonsai. Once again, I still the solution career, providing solutions to your problems. Hit the subscribe button if you are new to this channel. Turn on the notification bell, like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe. Yeah. Guys, so we are in Cubase now, and what I'm going to do is to bypass the effect. We're going to listen to, we're going to use this one. Okay. So I'm going to bypass everything here so that we listen to the vocals without any effect. Now introduce them as I show you. Now, first thing first, I just send a vocal track to this group one. Okay, so this group, I link this one. I normally don't mix on the same track. Okay, so I create a group and I'll send them to the groups. All right, so let's listen to this without any effect you can hear that you are finding it difficult to hear the vocals don't worry because the vocals have not been compressed there's no effect on that so first thing we're gonna do is to compress the vocals let's go to the group then i'm using the fourth compressor okay so this was my threshold negative 41.6 db and my ratio is 3.15 and i'm using a makeup of what 20.4 you can screenshot this if you're a beginner and want to know how to use this all right i will normally go for fast attack and slow release depending on the vibe that i want to use but most of times you can go for fast attack fast release okay but for this one i like fast attack slow release now let's listen to the vocals with only the compressor now you are hearing the vocals a little bit up but by the end of this video we will compress it makes it well for you to hear it perfect all right so next thing i did was introduce eq and i'm using far filter pro q3 this was my settings if you want to know how to eq your vocals like a pro then watch the video that will pop up on the screen or you can go back to my previous videos then much about eq all right so i cut off most of the low ends and i boosted the high ends there's some surgical cleanings here super super simple so let's listen to the compressor together with the eq alone wife material baby your name is so i'm gonna bypass the eq and also introduce it whilst listening to the whole thing so let's listen with the with the compressor and the eq as i bypass and bring back the eq wife material baby all right so you for you to hear the eq where i'm gonna mute the instrument so that you can hear only the vocals so this is without the EQ. Wife material baby. You can hear that the vocals is muddy, like it's not clean. Okay. And we don't want that. We don't want background noise to fight with the vocals. But the whole beat is also waves, alright? 
So what we do is to use the EQ to clean up the vocals, take out unwanted background noise. All right. So now let's listen to the EQ. Without the EQ. So now you hear the difference. You have to listen. use good headsets, good monitors so that you can hear the effects. Alright, the next thing I did was introduce DSA. And you know the function of DSA, we don't want the pops and the, s s the siblings. Alright, so we use the DSA to take off those siblings and the pops. We don't want those sounds in our mix, all right? And this was my settings. I'm using default plugins from Cubase. Trust me. And let's listen to everything. <laughs> The next thing I introduced was the noiser. You just want the vocals to sound clean, perfect. Right? So we also use the denoiser to take off most of the noise. Alright? So I chose the high from the reset. Listen to it with the DSA. Now, the last thing I introduced was gate. Though I've treated the room, but I still use gate to take off some of the noises. All right, and this is my settings threshold negative 48.8. DB, I don't touch anything here. You either play with the release and the attack and the hood, but this one I didn't touch anything. This was my settings. If you're a beginner, you can just come here and choose clean lead voice. Super simple. Don't touch anything, leave it like that. And the next thing I did was to EQ this section too, alright? This was my settings. I cut off some of the low ends, boosted some of the high ends. You know me, I like more of the high ends, all right? To, to give presence to the vocals. Now, next thing I introduced was the auto tune. And this is the auto tune. I'm using auto tune 8.1. If you don't know how to use auto tune, I have a full video for beginners. The link will be in the description box. You can also watch the video that will pop up on the screen right after watching this video. So this was my auto tune settings, the routine speed, everything here had been taken off. I didn't touch anything here. Now let's listen to the auto tune together with other effects. So always know the right key if you don't know how to use auto tune i have a full video go and watch that all right so this was my settings for the sake of today's video i'm just changing the key to the right key which is a now next thing i did was to create this fs and this is the maximizer from cubase i didn't touch anything all right then reverb a this was my settings reverb b this was my settings and i'm using vocal plates right then alter 
little boy from sound toys from sound toys okay then i'm also using saturn from far filter to saturate the vocal so let's look at them too the first thing i introduced was the maximizer most of times i don't want to use the compressor to compress the vocals mass so sometimes i support it with the maximizer so now let's listen to it with the maximizer now you can hear the vocals well without it let's listen and i'm gonna place it on you heard the effect all right so you can exaggerate and play with things but in mixing put your mind less is the best okay the less is the best don't overdo things wife material baby next thing i introduced was the little otter boy from sound toys i just want to sound a little bit different all right if you're a beginner you don't need this yes mix it the way you want okay depending on the style that you want to achieve so this was my settings you can pause the video and take a screenshot and the next thing i also introduced was the satan this was my settings okay super super simple let's listen to them now last thing i introduced was the reverb and i mostly play with the reverb a and b <laughs> depending on the one that will give me the the perfect effect that i'm looking for it depends on the mix all right but this one i'm using the reverb b and this was my setting room size 43 percent reverb time no this the pre-delay the damp i didn't touch anything wife material baby us young everything me money rasta kiki men and they don't and see everything oh see i'm a can i'm a pack when it's a little money i make cash you wife material baby us young everything me money rasta kiki men and they don't and see everything Wife, my TV, I be be. Us young, yeah, me say T. Me money, Rasta, Kiki, me and the Don and C. Wife, my TV, I be be. Us young, yeah, me say T. Me money, Rasta, Kiki, me and the Don and C. Simple. This how you can mix your vocals in Cubase with default plugins. If you found this video to be helpful give it a like subscribe to the channel let me know where you are watching this video from god sigh on the beat is back again all right let me know where you are watching me from like the video but how can you use auto tune if you're a beginner then watch the next video that will pop up on the screen until then stay blessed let's do more music